Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. So Kethrick was ready to betray our alliance too. I can't say it comes as a surprise. But you should know this. I initiated this plot. I brought Kethrick and Orin together to create the Absolute. They knew this would only work if we stood united and coordinated our powers. Their ambition blinded them to reason. I don't suffer the same affliction. In short, you can trust me. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A doppelganger in our camp. That sounds all too believable. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly, or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherine Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them, all out of fear of the absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. Our tyranny, and we are saviors, defenders of the Sword Coast, our loyal subjects will love us, not hate us. What comes next will be entirely their fault. Soon, first, come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard. I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gather guests. Grant ye consent. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you. Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. 
do not come empty-handed. Truest of souls, bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his, then falls quiet. Have you come to behold the new dawn? Help me. Ah, the Black Widow caught you in her web. Floric chose shadow over light. Her betrayal burned deeper than the fires of a furnace. She's been punished for her lies. Don't let her get to you. The Duke wants to keep Floric's location a secret. Little does he know that you've already found and freed her. What is a hero, if not an actor for the greater good? Freyrun suffers in darkness. Tyr has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. Gortash and I will ignite the final spark, and that, true soul, is the greatest of goods. Archduke, my lord, we prepare an army of our own. The Steel Watch will be mobilized. Next, we identify all enemies... To camp. Father should know of Ansel's fate. So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash in all his glory. What did you make of him? Not if I get to him first. How could all these people cheer for him like that? Can't they see what a chart say he is? And they expect these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this, and it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. Under Gortash, the two... To camp. Father should know of Ansel's fate. First act as Archduke, my lord. We prepare an army of our own. The Steel Watch will be mobilized. Next, we identify all enemies within our walls and within our ranks. They will be imprisoned until they prove loyal. <laughs> enemies within? What do you mean? Traitors, Portier. Any who dare speak ill of Baldur's Gate or its people. Pardon me for saying, Archduke, but do the people acquire such a heavy hand? The people demand it. Is a Baldurian truly free when he fears for his future? What glory, our city, and what glory, its future. And if this, the Steel Watch has made an impenetrable fortress, 
Out of this... I can't think of a better endorsement for Gortash than that. Let the people rejoice. In Archduke Gortash's hands, they are safe. A new age is upon us. Gods have mercy on those. Did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mizora. What do you want? For your attention, little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, Gortash has had your father relocated. Rude. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game. A murderous one, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp. If you want to work something out. To camp. Father should know of Ansel's fate. in here. You're not a fist. Go on, get out, or I'll... I'll wake the others. Please, that won't be necessary. I... I just needed gold. That's all. Getting out of here, taking a ferry down the coast to get me home. Those bloody crooks at the docks are charging triple, though. Danger money. It's a joke. No, I mean, uh, I'm just, I quit. Nothing wrong with quitting a job. My wife said we have to stand and fight and, and I can't, I won't. I'm not made for this! I'm not a soldier! I only joined for the uniform and a warm bed. They're better off without me. I'm scared. All I want is to go home. You shouldn't be in here. Something's not right about those steel watchers. I'm telling you. Ah, are the gods truly this petty? Testament. 
No tomb sit in Beator. No tomb sit in Beator. You've heard of such devils. Sisters of justice. Adjudicators of diabolical contracts and bargains. Holy hells. You do not call upon the sisters. They come when the hells demand witness. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else? We bargain. Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. A life for a life. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zaril in a pact eternal. Option two. I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. Do it then. Claim my soul for Zario. Keep my father safe. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. a new mission, pup. Go save your father. He's locked in a very nasty place. Gortash's secret command center and prison. Lucky for you, I know the way in. I'll mark your map. After all, a deal's a deal. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. Okay. <laughs> 
this. Don't look at me. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna... Has made herself quite at home, hasn't she? Do make her feel as unwelcome as you can. To camp. Father should know of Ansel's fate. Why the stunned face? You look like you've seen a devil. his own hole, darling. I merely supplied the claws. I've always been the giving type, after all. To it. Go to Gortash's secret prison, and I'll help you spring Will's daddy free. Of course, you could always leave him to rot, but that would make Will's sacrifice worthless, and I know you wouldn't want that. were an inquisitor. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor it, sister. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. Focus on the elder brain. I'd hate to clog that infected head of yours with needless details. <sighs> Will's a gifted hunter, and Zariel's made her share of enemies in and out of the Hells. Devils, demons, deserters. They're a great burden on the Lord of the First. Clause G, Section 9. Targets shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. The clause still holds. As long as Will doesn't tug on my leash, he'll be stalking only the wickedest prey. It's a win-win. You have the best ideas. The Nine Hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first hell my home, Avernus. My mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it, the delicious agony of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel. But those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead, after all. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. Like I said, 
I'm the giving type. To camp. Father should... I can't believe Will's given up his soul to Zariel. For a father he fell out with ages ago. There's such a thing as being too good. Someone ought to tell Will Ravenguard. Screening vulture seems intent on haunting our camp. I suppose we shall find out if her kind sleep. And how heavily. Will is a good man. And that is exactly what his devil will use to bind him. In as many ways as she knows how. A man might twist himself into something else just to escape that collar. But I have no such fears for the blade. There might be, but let it wait until the city proper. Will gave up freedom to save his father. <laughs> I will never understand people like that. To camp. Are you sure? And just... Come to bask in the glow of the moon. It can't have been easy for Will to resign himself to the pact. But I'm glad he chose his father. Will sacrificed a great deal for his family. The pact may stand, but the strength of his character is clear. Time and again, Will's plight reinforces my decision not to pursue the path of a warlock. Will's father owes him gratitude. I hope for his sake Ravenguard is gracious enough to offer it, given how much it cost. With pleasure. Lead on. Fate. Dost thou require a new ally? The girl has left to hew her own path. She left you a letter. Thou couldst read it, or thou couldst not. Such is the way of autonomy. Hast thou other business? my attention. Still breathing, despite everything. <laughs> 